you know, segregated, right? In, in a way, you know? The white from the black and whatever, whatever it is. And there's a history and people who have suffered more. But I believe the only way, the only way, because we've made attempts and we failed, like, right? Racism is more present than ever, like, right now, you know what I mean? At least in our lifetime. Of course, still present, right? At least in our you lifetime. Would think, At least you would in think, our... well, the education, everything you would think is better. And it's not. And, 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 and I, I mean, certain things have changed. The only, the only way we're going to move forward, the only way we're going to move forward is when we leave that aside and we start looking at people, As people. and judging them by their, their decisions, mm -hmm. their actions, you know, and not the way they look. And, and we have to understand that color is the, is the least important thing about a human being. Because if we think that it's the most important thing about a human being, that it's... it's, it's is supporting racism in a way. It's segregating. You get what I'm saying? Like that, the moment that we this, I'm not talking shit here. Like I, like I know what I'm talking about. The moment you start thinking that color, the color you see is actually an important aspect of you as a person. You, you, we're done. Like we're moving away from diversity. Color is doesn't mean anything. You know, it's beautiful. Period, and then that's it. It's not the most important thing. It's the least important thing about a human being. Think about it. It's the least important thing. Is the is the thing that you can't control the most. You can't control your color. That's why to attack somebody for their color, for the things that they cannot control, is racism. That's like attacking a kid that has a certain problem. It's it's bad. It's wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's because that kid did not control what he was born with. We don't control that. So how's that's why racism is bad, and that's why it's racism. You know what I mean? Because we get judged on the things that we cannot control. We cannot defend that because we can't control those things. It's like it's like how can somebody attack you for things you cannot control? It's pathetic. You know what I mean? The only time, the only way we're gonna heal is once we start not preaching about it, but but being about it. You know? I don't preach about it. I look at individuals, and maybe if Eladio was here, like. You know what I mean? He will be saying something else or whatever is now, but because we, we've had this conversation, you know, many times, and I feel entitled to to explain myself because I've lived in different countries that are totally different, totally different. Like there wasn't, you know, like the racism I experienced in Spain was in was to another level. Was racism where a kid did not know of your color before? Can you imagine that shit? Like a, a, a seven year old kid telling you. Looking at you like they had never seen this color before. Can you believe that you're in a village? You know what I mean? But the only way we're going to heal is when, once we stop attaching color to behavior. Living by it. You know what I mean? That's the only way out. This black movement things and this... I don't support none of these things. This Latino thing and this color... I don't, I don't because the more you push an idea, the more you segregate. And, and it's like it's like okay, so we're gonna battle what what we've been like we're we're gonna battle the opposition using the same method. How is that hating or moving no forward? It, it makes, makes no sense. No sense. That's, what I, that's what I that's what I that's what I was saying that time. Over here, over here, think of it. Like, yo, you gotta, yo, to be a good debater, you gotta put yourself in the other in the other person's shoes. Of course, you know what I'm saying. And that's what makes research papers very good. When you find an opposition and you kill the opposition that way. Think of it if you were white. You know, and you had no responsibility as a human being for what, let's say, whites did to Native Americans. You were born in the fucking 95, 95 or whatever, and you know, you're a total different man. Whatever. But now you get judged by the color of your skin because people look at you and based on your skin color, they assume that your people were responsible. It's what they did to my You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if you're white, you see how. how Things change, but that's you a, know. That's like, a, oh, this is an oh no, this is an all oh, yellow movement. You're not allowed. This is because because your ancestors, you know, suppress our yellow people. You get what I mean? What the fuck do people? You know what I mean? So based on what you're saying, you, you got you get what I'm saying. There's no healing from there. There's no. So this is my next, my next question, and I, and I always feel like I've thought of, I've thought this, and I've never said it out loud. Do you think we need to? Not necessarily forget slavery, but get over it. Honestly, 
I think, coming from a guy that has experienced a lot of racism, because a lot of people follow these movies and they haven't experienced the racism that I've, that I've experienced. I'm not saying that I've experienced the most, like, but I've experienced some crazy racism. Coming from a guy from me, like, I grew up in Spain, and, like, like I've, just, I've gone through the whole discrimination. Even in the Dominican Republic, I've gone through discrimination. Yes, for sure. We need to, we need to s somehow get over it. And, I agree. and we, we need to, we need to somehow get over it in a way where we detach color from behavior. And, and treating color like if it's the most important thing yeah. about a human being. Like when, it's, when it's the least important thing about a human being. Okay. You get what I mean? No, I, I don't agree. these movements are, are segregating movements. Okay, listen, listen to me real quick. Listen to me real quick. Listen to me real quick. I've been, I went to a school where majority of the students are African American. Right? Everything I was taught there when a white dude were walking to the black movement and they all have an opinion in, in favor of them. You don't understand this is this is what the response was. You don't understand what I've been through. Trust me, you haven't been through anything compared to the people that went through it. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Like we we everybody knows what happened when they were selling black people. We know that. Yeah, of course. We understand that. We know the story. We know, you know, we... we, we it's not that we... Yo, we, listen to me. We know what we've heard. Bro, listen to me. Spanish people came to our country, and based on religion, they fucking... Killed, killed hell of niggas. Annihilated. And not hell of niggas. You know what I'm saying? We don't have indigenous because of that whole trade. We, that's why we don't have indigenous in our country, in the Dominican Republic. What we have is, 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 is Africans, you know what I'm saying? Not that, that that matters, but I'm saying like we had a population that was wiped out because of this exchange, you know. Now you talk to a Spanish guy, you know, but somebody from Spain. Like just think big, like are you gonna hold them accountable for it? You know what I mean? You, 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 you can't do it. You can't. That, that individual was not there. That individual was not responsible for the actions that were taken. That individual might have ancestors, quote unquote. But reality is, he's an entirely different individual. He's an entirely different person who had nothing to do with the actions that were taken. So he should not be held responsible. I'm just thinking, for the sake of the argument, how would he feel? How would you feel if you were on the other side and somebody approaches you? Attacking you for the things that you're not responsible for, that you cannot defend. You don't know. You know what I'm Nothing saying? Nothing that you have yeah. control over. You can. If, if you're responsible, you for get what I mean. Are there the still fucking? people like that? Right. Yeah, all over the world, there's still people with that mentality. But it's not gonna end. It's like a, it's like a cycle. Que que que. Tú sabes que que sigue alimentándose. What I always say. And it never ends because we're. What I always say is. That's what I always say. That's how Morgan Freeman is like when they ask him, "How do you stop racism? How about?" You stop calling me a black man, and I stop calling you a white man. I'm Morgan Freeman, and you are Fulano and Dal. How about there? Perfect. Yeah, I heard, I heard that. You know what I'm saying? You heard, heard that, right? I heard that. I saw that interview. It's what I'm saying. Like, you can't be holding people accountable like that. Like, let's say, let's let's say like this. Your uncle is a murderer, right? I'm gonna say you're a murderer because of that. You can't. I can't say that. I didn't know my uncle was a murderer. I didn't know what was going through his head. You know what I mean? It's what, different, though. No, no. I it, understand your example completely. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the, the action and the and the and the people related to that person. That's an action, though. That's different. But but no, we, I we, think, we're still doing. I, I get you. I get you. 100%, no, because because what, pe what people hold on is that white people had me had my people slaved. Your people had my people slaved. I wasn't there. I didn't. Do I slave you? Me being a white guy, do I enslave you? No. You know what I mean? I have nothing to do with that. The moment you start uh, having these these riots and these, oh no, okay, white people are this and white people are oppressing and what, every white person that really wasn't about that feels attacked. You attack me, I'm gonna retaliate. Bro, listen, there's so much, there's so much, there's so much. I, I mean, that, that's, that's just the way I look at it. I mean, you're, you're, like, I look at people. You cool with me? I'm cool with you. At the end of the day, the that's why I don't support no movement. That's why I believe that most of the movements and most of the people that are marching the streets, yeah, are not, are not, they don't even know what they're fighting. Again, for. at the end of the day, the message is the following: You live, you move on. Let's get over it. Okay, Let, let's should. live something else. <laughs>
con ustedes, el negro que te lo hace los curios y con Fresh Training Topic. Y el gordito lindo de la radio. Y Jason David. And Mr. Paradise.